Hey there, it's iRun here and I am back with an update on how to set up the multiplayer server in Nether. So uh, one of the first things I just want to say up front here, in order for a multiplayer server to work in Nether, you have to have Steam running. So you have to have Steam up and running on your computer. You don't necessarily have to be logged in or anything else, but it does have to be running. And with that, I'm going to uh, go on and we'll start with uh, some of the other uh, things that you have to do and I am here to show you how to start up your own nether server and this is how you can start up a public server or a private server so um, I'll put a link in the description uh, to a couple of different uh, posts from the uh, nether game or the fosters games uh, that explain how to do it but even afterwards I had to get a little bit of help and I just want to share that with you also the other thing that I want to share with you too I will have the link down into the phosphorus games uh, nether uh, Facebook um, website down below if you have any questions for example when we get into this I have not been able to get the private uh, password protected servers to work I'll show you how you're supposed to be able to do it but I personally have not been able to get that so if you need support you'll want to go to their Facebook page and post some things there so the first thing you have to do is you have to get into your Steam library to find out where, where the uh, nether server files are located so if you open up Steam as you see here in the window and you go to your library go to games and then as you can see I have nether already highlighted here because I was in previously right click over here on nether and go down to properties then from here what you want to do is go to your local files and you want to browse your local files and that is going to bring up this game folder so from here if you go into game and you go into binaries you're going to find a file called launch nether server and that's what you want to use so what I've done is I right click on it I put send to and I create a desktop shortcut so you'll you'll need to do that as well and uh, or that makes it easier and then I'll show you from there what's next so all, all that you'll do is you'll just launch that there now the other thing that I do if you also go into the win64 uh, file you'll also see the nether game you'll want to right click on that say send to your desktop and the reason why is if you are the if, the, if you're hosting the server on the com same computer that you're playing on you'll need to make a little bit of an adjustment and I'll show you how to do that let's go ahead and close that out and from here now we can actually uh, close out uh, the uh, steam altogether so on my desktop here you'll see I have one that says launch nether server and launch nether itself now this one's a modified one and I'll show you that in a minute well actually let me show you that now so what you'll do after you get nether launched you need to go to properties and this is for you and on this line here where it says target after the end where you see nether.exe and it'll probably be over here so you'll probably have to scroll you need to put a space after the .exe and type in 127.0.0.1 and and then just click OK and what that's going to do that's going to allow you to to connect to um, the server after you launch it you you if you put it to where you can see it in the public server list you still cannot connect to it at least at this point through there okay so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and launch the nether server now this is where things have changed a little bit and I want to share with you uh, you can put whatever you want up here up to a max of 64 I usually run somewhere between 16 and 32 players we'll just put in 16 for now uh, you can put in your server name. I usually just put in my uh, youtube.com slash irun365gaming. You hit enter. Then you get some advanced features. So if you want to lock your server, you hit yes here. This is where you would go ahead and it would uh, password protect it. So I'll, I'll run through that real quick. You just go ahead and hit yes. And then it's going to ask you to set a password. Now the important thing here is your password has to be 
all uppercase. So we'll just say for now, we'll just say it's nether, which I would never use, by the way. And then you could put in your admin password and, uh, you know, nether admin, which again is something that I would never use. So just if you're ever wondering, but, uh, um, and that would set the in game uh, password. And then this is really critical. If you want your game to show up uh, on the server list, it has to be set to yes for dedicated server. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, back out of this real quick so I can show you um, how I would set it up and actually launching it. So uh, let's go back into launch server. We'll put 16. Uh, YouTube, I can't talk, type today.com slash I run 365 gaming and lock server. No, because I'm not going to lock it because every time I've locked it, I haven't had success. Set server password, yes. Nether admin, again, I never use that password, so if you try to use it on my server, it will not work. And then, yes, dedicated server. And as you can see, uh, obviously you'll never want to show this, but up here it actually shows you if you've set a server password or admin password, it shows it up here. It shows that, um, and it's probably, it's hard to see uh, that it dedicated is set to true and it's just launching it. And then once you start getting some of these extra things there, as it just uh, uh, opened up, you can go ahead and uh, launch Nether. Now I'm launching my basic nether because I'm not actually going to go into the game right now, but you'll be able to see uh, see that my server is there uh, and it's showing up in the game list. So if you see this one here it says German server, you see the shield, that means it is a password protected server. Again, I haven't been successful in getting this to work. When I've tried it, I thought I was getting into the game and actually ended up being thrown into another game. Uh, so I cannot help you with that at this time. I know that the admins or the developers are constantly uh, working on new tools. And I may even do a, a separate tutorial on some of the admin tools that you can use inside. If you're interested in that, leave a comment below and perhaps I'll do that. So the last thing uh, that I haven't done in any of my uh, previous videos, I want to show this real quick. Is right here so I've, I had several people there like what what do I need to do to uh, uh, get my server seen and thing well you have to have two ports you have to have port 27015 and port 7777 and it's the UDP protocol as you can see over here on my router I can do TCP UDP both or other uh, but it's that thing that port protocol and you have to have it point it to your your IP of the server that's hosting. Um, so this allows traffic on those ports from the game to come through your router and to your PC and to go out, which is what is important for um, being able to be seen in the public server list as well as people being able to connect to your game. The other thing is you can see up here on my particular uh, router, there's a DMZ. What a DMZ means is if you uh, put this in there, uh, this particular PC has all ports open to it, um, and that's another option. But if you want to be a little bit more secure, just use your virtual server port forwarding. Uh, if you need help, just look for your model of your router, uh, and then type in that model like Netgear CG3100, uh, how to uh, port forward and type that into YouTube and you should get some. All right, so that is just about wrap it up again If you have any questions comments leave them in uh, down below uh, don't forget to go to uh, the Phosphorus Games nether Facebook page and also if you need support uh, go there and they should be able to help you as well And until next time this is I run we'll see you on nether later